Crazy Hair Self-Portrait Lesson First, you will need an A3 size paper, a pencil, some coloured yarn or string, and you also need oil pastel. I'm going with orange because I like the bright colours. I'm cleaning it now because I'm going to get that ready so that I can colour my hair. Continue with drawing the curly lines until you're happy with the volume of your hair. Clean your hands before you move on to the next colour. Most of the time, there is a piece of paper wrapping over the oil pastel. You can tear it away, you can break your oil pastel, so you can colour it more effectively. Sometimes you will see bits of oil pastel as you are colouring. You can use a tissue paper to pick them up or you can use your finger to pick them up. Remember to discard them instead of just sweeping it onto the floor. Now I'm moving on to design my top. So I'm going to put a recycled paper underneath because I know that when I use my oil pastel, I think it's going to go over the edge of the paper. Once you're happy with your drawing, you could take a black oil pastel and go over all the outlines. Oops, my oil pastel broke, did you see that? So I'm going to leave it alone so that I can come back and fix it later. I'm taking the lighter colour and cleaning up the surface. So by doing so, there's a bit of the black oil pastel on the lighter colour oil pastel. So I will take a tissue and remove it. For the background, you can choose any patterns that you like. I like polka dots, so watch how I do it. Once you have completed the oil pastel drawing, we will move on to the next stage of art making. You can divide the yarn into shorter pieces if you like. Look at the difference in sizes between these two yarn. When you receive the yarn, you will untwist the yarn and create thinner pieces. Continue to untwist the yarn and slowly pull them apart.
Apply small amount of liquid glue and gently put on the yarn. Do not coat the whole yarn with glue because that will be too much. <laughs> 